as someone who's been told, what are you mixed with? Are you half black? You're not really Haitian, are you? Are you all here? Is it okay to just be black? Is it okay to just be okay with that? Like, do I need to be mixed with anything? Do I need to be trying to act white? Like, is it is this just okay that I am what I am? Black is beautiful and that's okay? Why would you want to be anyone else when you could be uniquely yourself? I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've been called an Ariel. You hear it from all sides of the fence. If the way I'm acting to you is white, then the opposite of what you think a black person should be. Today's video is all about black girl stereotypes, particularly an Oreo, and if you've ever been called one of those, give this video a thumbs up, and um, yeah, we're gonna talk all about it because it is ultimately a bunch of bull because black people are not all the same, and we all talk differently, so. <laughs> yeah, if you are a person who loves all things beauty, lifestyle, self-love bonus give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe down below because on my channel we are just authentically ourselves and i just want to like show all facets of that i'd love to chat with you guys and just talk about different things that i've learned through the years that i've lived on this earth so yeah i'm just really excited to dig into it so uh, let's get into it so today's video is all about black girl stereotypes and for topic number one we are going to talk about oreos i love oreos but yeah being called one not so much i think it's just so funny because I only know how to authentically be myself. I cannot be anyone else but myself. The way I talk, it naturally comes out of my mouth. This voice that you see, of course, you know, I can tweak it, maybe have a little bit more high pitch and maybe a little bit low pitch, but it's exhausting to try to fake your voice. I've never tried it, but I can only imagine. It's exhausting. I mean, I, I just couldn't imagine it. So, yes, this is the voice that my Heavenly Father has blessed me with. It's just how I talk. What part of that makes you think I'm trying to be white? Because I'm not. I'm just being me. Like, I only know how to be me. The way I dress, it may not fit into what you think a typical black person should dress. But here's a newsflash. We don't all look the same. We all have different shades of melanin. We all have different hair textures. We all are come in different shapes and sizes and backgrounds and races. We come from different parts of the world. No, we're not trying to be white. We are just generally being ourselves. And however form you see that, that's just who we are. And instead of instantly judging, oh yeah, you're just you're just a black girl trying to be white. Or, oh, she's just an Oreo. And people people in your friend groups in Safe so nonchalantly like, ah, she's just an Oreo. Wait, so, wait a minute. What do you think, who, what is your impression of black people? What, that That's the big question I want to ask. Wait, so how do you think I should be acting? How do you stereotype black people? Do they not know how to talk? Are we not educated? Do we all dress the same? Do we all listen to the same music? Can we not come from educated homes? Like, that to me is the, problem, the thing that's so problematic because I think when you meet someone, especially a black person or a minority or a person of color, who steps outside the box of what maybe you may see or what popular culture tells you what they should be, maybe that can be problematic to some people because you step outside of what they think you should be. And I think that's where this whole stereotype of an Oreo is. And why is it that the way that I'm acting, someone's view of white is like the end all be all. And at the end of the day, it's not. And I think it's sad that people think, ooh, she talks in a really unique way. Oh, yeah, she's trying to be white. Ooh, she dresses in a unique way. Ooh, she's trying to be white. Ooh, she likes rock music. Oh, yeah, she's trying to be white. Ooh, she listens to indie music. Oh, she's trying to be white. Ooh, she likes to paint in his artsy. Oh, she's trying to be white. Ooh, man, she only dates a certain race. Oh, she's trying to be white, and she must hate herself. Ooh, it's like, what? No, guys, we're all different. We're all created in a unique way by the creator himself. And why does it feel like my head is big? Can I just, let me just stand up. Okay, is that a little bit better? I feel like my head was chopped off for a little bit over there. But yeah, <laughs> we're all unique. We're all created in a unique way. Like the way my skin is formed on my body, the way 
the hairs on my eyebrows are attached to my body is all unique and there may be people out there who look like me but no one can be me and that is the beauty of life why would i mean here's the thing why would you want to be anyone else when you could be uniquely yourself why would i want to be anything than what the person god created me to be and try to fit into a mold of what you think white people should be that doesn't make any sense and I do think for some people, there is an identity crisis where, yes, some people may not like the way they look and they may have insecurities with the way they look. And in a sense, they try to emulate a certain trait, personality about someone else. And that's something that, yeah, anybody can do with. But you need to come to terms if you really want to be happy and content with yourself in life, that you're okay. You love yourself the way you are. And however that comes out, you need to embrace it and own it and rock it. Okay, and no, and why do I think people should, okay, if you've ever been a person who's ever called someone an Oreo, just don't do it, because I think that tells yourself that you have some bias, and I think we all may have a little bit of bias here and there, but I don't think people realize how damaging saying that to someone, or any type of, you know, person of color or minority, like, how damaging that is, because you, as they are, they're less than, and there's, all, there's only one possible way the way they're presenting themselves to be true, is that they're you know, in your opinion, trying to act white, right? Because what you think, you think black people, you think we like, all look the same? You think we all act the same? You think we all dress the same and have the same interests? But wait, what is your perception of how black people are? Do you think we're criminals? Do you think we don't know how to speak? Do you think we're not educated? Do you think we all date the same people? Do you think we all come from the same families? Like we, uh, no, 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 we're not. No, we're not trying to be white. We're just being ourselves. And as a person who's been called this growing up, um, I don't even know how many times I've heard it from family members. You guys have known me since I've been a little kid. I've always been an outspoken, outspoken person. This isn't anything new. I just am the way I am. I mean, I think God generally created me this way as I am, you know? I've always been a person who's like loved alternative music and I loved listening to rock music and I've loved, you know, just dressing in different ways. Like I've never been someone who felt like I had to fit in a certain mold. If I want to dress, if I want to dress, you know, wearing a long flowy dress one day, I'll do it. If I want to dress girl one day, I'll do it. If I want to dress more alternative one day, I'll do it. Cause that's what, or more hippie and boho that day. Why the hell not? I don't, I don't want to fit into any mold. I like different things about so many aspects of fashion. I will dress however I want to dress. And that's okay. That doesn't mean I'm, oh, I'm trying to imitate or be a poser or whatever it is. No, I just genuinely like these different styles. No one should, in my opinion, have to, have to feel like they have to conform to any aesthetic or have to conform to any personality. And now that I think about it, I do think there are some people who act a certain way because they feel like they have to and that's sad you know we shouldn't be at a place where oh you feel like you have to hang out with a certain group because they look like you you know what I mean we should all be open and welcome to talk to different people different races you know what I mean like that's what makes the world great is when we're blended together you know I think I just think back to um Smart Luther King's dream and, and wanting to have all these races together and just join instead of being divided and I think you only divide people when you say, when you call people an Oreo. You're only creating division. And sometimes I do think people don't even realize their own biases. And as someone who has been called that, it is so problematic. Because I think you're only, you think a black person is less than. And that's the hard truth. As someone who's been told, what are you mixed with? Are you half black? You're not really Haitian, are you? Is that your hair? Is it okay to just be black? Is it okay to just be okay with that? Like, do I need to be mixed with anything? Do I need to be trying to act white? Like, is it is this just okay that I am what I am? I am what you see and I'm not mixed with anything. Like, black is beautiful and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Is it okay that I can go to a concert? That may not be what you think I should listen to, and I genuinely like it. Is that okay that maybe one day I'd want to get a full sleeve of tattoos? 
and maybe a piercing here and there and still talk the same way and still wear a dress, is that okay? Like, can I do that? Or is that not okay? Because I'm okay with it. You know, I, I think you reach the pinnacle of success, just like personal, just being able to get to a state where you really love yourself when you truly don't care. When you are content with just living the life the way you want to live it, you know? And not wondering, oh wait, I wonder what so-and-so is going to... Being able to get to a state where you really love yourself when you truly don't care. When you are content with just living the life the way you want to live it, you know? And not wondering, oh wait, I wonder what so-and-so is going to say about it. If someone doesn't like the person that you are, they're not meant for you. What do you say about it? If someone doesn't like the person that you are, they're not meant for you, you know? And... When I think about growing up, hearing it from other black people, like you you can hear, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've been called an Oreo, you'll hear it from black people and you hear it from white people. You hear it from all sides of the fence. And it makes me think, why do black people say it? And why do white people say it? And I do think, and, and this is just my opinion, I'm just talking from my own experiences. So no one come down for me in the comments and come through my throat. It's just my opinion. We can all have a conversation and dialogue. But I do think some people of color say that because they're afraid to be themselves. And so they have to fit to a certain mold. They have to dress a certain way. They have to act a certain way because they feel like that's what society deems them to be, which is so negative because you're great the way you are. You're great exactly as you present yourself to be. And then I do think on the opposite end, people who aren't a minority say that because they think of us to be a certain way. And they may not have any ill intention because people just say things so nonchalant and they don't truly realize how damaging that can be. But when you say things like that, you're almost caught thinking of us less than. You don't think we're educated. You don't think that we can have a proper conversation. Like, because if the way I'm acting to you is white, then the opposite of what you think a black person should be. So because I can talk in a certain way, and I dress a certain way, and I like certain things, oh no, that there's no way you're authentically being yourself. Oh, oh, you're acting like a white person. You know what I mean? Like, no, you know, that's what it really means. You think we're uneducated. You think that we can have intelligent conversations. You think we all look the same. You think we all act the same. It, it just goes down to being, are you mixed with something else? What do you, is black trash or something? Anyway, guys, if you've been called that, just know that I can relate. There's a lot of people who can relate. That's why I really want to have this conversation because we can relate to this so much and um i think it's just when people say that i think it's a good opportunity if they're close to you if there's someone that you really feel you want to educate on just let them know what that really what that means when you say that because i don't think people realize but if you are someone you've said it just know we're all unique we don't fit into certain stereotypes and that should be any race we shouldn't fit into certain stereotypes and we shouldn't feel pressure to do so you can be a black person and love to dress in a different style. You can be a black person and love to just wear your hair straight and still love yourself and not pretending to be a certain race. You can be a black person who's artsy and loves indie music and likes to go to festivals. You can be a black person and be covered in tattoos and not be a poser. You can be a black person who talks the way I talk. And that's generally how you talk. Why is that? I don't know why people are all up in the comments saying I'm trying to be white. Like, no. Why is it's okay to talk the way a person talks and not think they're trying to be anything but their authentic selves. And I hope people who read this, who watch this video, know, you know what? Yeah, I'm okay with being me. And anyone who doesn't, who has a problem with it, they're not meant to be in my life. You know? So let's in any form, shape, or form, let's be aware of stereotypes that we may impose on others and literally drop them because it's just negative. And let's get to a point where we all just learn to love ourselves, embrace who we naturally are, and like kill it. So if you guys love this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've experienced anything that I've mentioned in this video, um, give me down, let me know. Give me a comment down below. I think we should all just like have a good, good conversation and dialogue about it. But um, I hope we get to a space where as a society that we generally embrace people for who they are. And I think it's so amazing to see someone and they're different and they're unique. 
and I imagine imagine people felt comfortable to be who they generally are like that would just that that's infectious that makes you want to be more of yourself and that's what I'm really excited to just post more content about um, just me as an individual and just the life experiences that I've learned to hopefully help other people <laughs> yes so if you're down about just self-improvement wellness um, lifestyle um, self-love all those things mixed in with beauty and all that fun stuff different faceted this are different facets of what makes a woman unique definitely subscribe to this channel and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one